thanks. Uh, I have great pleasure for coming. Andamad University is uh, about three years old. Although our parent, Andamad Education Society, is 75 years old. Many of our institutions are also older, but they graduated the Andamad University three years back. The act of the state created this university. I got an opportunity to spend about uh, half an hour talking to Keiki about uh, what, how we came about, what's our parentage, which are the institutions that we have inherited and which ones we have initiated in the last three years. We took a quick round of the facilities and I ran a running commentary uh, telling him about what we are trying to do. Uh, we are very happy that uh, we accepted our invitation to give this first lecture. Universities around the world uh, have this tradition of uh, special locations where leaders from various fields, academic as well as business, are invited to deliver important lectures. At the Abu Modi School of Management, we thought that we should also start this uh, tradition. And that is, once we thought about this, we tried to narrow down as to who we should invite. And that is how we came uh, to this thing. And this was, if I may say so, a very short session in between the side. And it was a universal choice. Thank you, Katie, for accepting this. Well, I've already told him about the university and what they're trying to do. Uh, I don't, uh, I mean, there will be many, many more occasions when uh, I would uh, interact with him and tell him more about the university. At this moment, I think on behalf of all of us, uh, I would like to welcome them to the Ahmedabad University and to this makeshift arrangement of an auditorium for this nature. I know we have been able, we would have liked to accommodate many more. Uh, we, this, uh, I mentioned to him that we plan to hold this in the main courtyard of the Emsong, but because of uh, the strong sun in the morning, we decided that we would hold it here. So sorry for the inconvenience and also uh, for so many of the students who would not be able to attend this, I'm sure you made an impact for them to also in, uh, to, to see the proceedings as well as to listen to the lecture. Uh, I'm sure there will also be arrangement for them also to interact and raise questions. I hope so. Thank you. Once again, warm welcome to you on a wintry day, which is not wintry. <laughs> Now invite, uh, now, may I now please invite Sri M. T. Patel to uh, offer a gift of gratitude to Sri K. T. Mishra. May I now please invite Sri B. M. Shah. Registrar of Ahmedabad University to offer our respect to Sri Keki Mistri by adorning him with a shawl, a token of our gratitude. Thank you so much, sir. May I 
now invite Dr. A. H. Calro, Provost of AU, to introduce our honorable guest to the audience. Please, sir. Well, good morning, everybody. The KK Ministry, colleagues, my fellow students, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a privilege for us to welcome today to KK Ministry to our midst to deliver the first AMSOM lecture. Prafu Bhai did mention about our desire to institute lecture series at the university. And of course, we will have, as time goes by, several university lectures. We will have school lectures and of course, lectures by institutions to commemorate some important event. But this particular lecture is of some significance to us because, if I'm not mistaken, it's been at least two years since we had decided that we would like to have Shikeke industry in our midst. But due to some reason or the other, the date kept getting postponed. But this time, we thought, come what may, we will hold the lecture, notwithstanding even the elections in Gujarat. There was, in fact, a suggestion that the 18th may not be suitable because of the elections on the 13th and 17th that were conducted in the state. But of course, those of us who live in Gujarat, those of us who know Gujarat, know how feasible it is to hold lectures such as this even on election day because we have nobody of any kind at all. It is, as I said, a privilege to have in our midst Shri K.K. Ministry today because, in a sense, he has pioneered housing finance in India and several other financial services in this country through the institutions that she has been a part of. It's been a little more than 30 years that he entered into HDFC and, of course, a little more than 20 years that he has been holding a board position in HDFC, guiding its destiny. Some brief reference was made earlier to an opinion held by some, usually journalists and less informed people, about the HDFC being a boring institution. But let me assure you that the brand of HDFC does mean something very significant to people, not only in this country, but other parts of the world as well. And much more ever since we've had the subprime crisis in different parts of the world. And India, as you know, emerged largely unscathed. And of course, institutions such as the HDFC were seen to be torchbearers in those depressing times. This says a lot.